experiment six grade states of matter. You will examine some common items about you and your home and your classroom to determine properties of a solid, a liquid, and a gas. You're going to need a balloon, a small block of wood, a rock, a clean square plastic refrigerator dish, and a soda pop. Try to find some solids, liquids, and gases. Blow up a balloon. Squeeze it gently. The air from your lungs is going into the balloon. Observe it. Squish it. Did the balloon take on the shape of the gas inside? Yes. Yes. Is the statement true that a gas changes to take the shape of its container? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let a little out. Where is the gas going? Into out. the air. Into the air? Mm -hmm. Does it take the shape of the room then? No. No? I say Where yes. does it go? Yes. yes, the gas molecules will spread out to fill the volume of its container. It just so happens that you put the air from your lungs into the balloon and the balloon is holding the air in the shape of the balloon container. Okay, examine the soda pop container. So you can let the air out of your balloon and pick up the, the Rubbermaid container on your desk. All right, what shape is that? Uh, rectangular, square. Okay, now open one of the sodas. Just one? We'll open his and then you can open yours next. All right, what, observe what shape the soda is in now. In the can. Okay, the liquid inside. Mm -hmm. Pour the liquid from the soda into your container. Is it taking the shape of your container? Yes. Yes. And you hear the fizz and the pop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think that is? Fizzing and popping. Um, exposure to air. Well, we call it a carbonated soft drink because it's carbon dioxide escaping, okay? Mm -hmm. So, is it a true statement about liquid that it takes the shape of its container? Yes. Yes. Okay. Observe the bubbles that fizz when they come to the top. Abby, you can add your soda to his. So we can look more at the bubbles. Do the bubbles have a fixed shape? Mm, no. No. They're going to expand into the air to fill the shape of the room, right? Yes. They're going to be added to the air because the carbon dioxide is a gas. All right, now let's examine the piece of wood. We would call this a solid. Does it have a fixed shape? Yes. yes. Does it have a fixed volume? Yes. 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 Okay, does it take the shape of a container? No. No, if you put it in the container, it's just gonna be the same shape as it started, right? Yes. Okay, so what have we observed about solids, liquids, and gases as far as their shape and form? Um, liquids can take their shape of the container. Okay. And wood can't. <laughs> wood can't. Wood has a fixed volume and shape. Does gas have a fixed volume and shape? Yes. Yeah. No. 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 It, it expands. Good job. What about the liquid? It makes bubbles. Does it have a fixed volume? Yes. It's going to be the same volume, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But does it have a fixed shape? No. 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 It will take on the shape of its container. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.